Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Yes. From, what, what did we decide, 1993 or something like that? I can't yeah. remember the exact date. So, Harley Davidson and Marlboro Man stars Mickey Rourke, uh, Don Johnson, and uh, Giancarlo Esposito makes a yeah, appearance little, in this Yeah, a little well. bit, Very yeah. Long, Giancarlo Esposito and uh, Big John Studd. Uh, Daniel Baldwin and uh, the late great Michael Madsen. No, uh, yeah, gosh, died very recently. Yeah, died right the basically the day we were watching this movie. He yeah, away. yeah, no yeah. kidding. It's, yeah, it's been so, about a week two ago. Yeah, 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 a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we watched this a couple weeks ago, so memory may be slightly, slightly bad on this. We've got it playing on the screen, but I'm sure I'm going to get through it much quicker than the screen gives me. <laughs> So we open up in Harley Davidson. Oh no, let's go. What, what do you think about Harley Davidson the Marble Man? Oh my God, my I was so like giddy because mm-hmm. this was my movie of the week to bring to you. Oh yeah, yeah. You Here's know we pick. we do we do picks like we do we try to watch two movies a night on Friday nights. Yeah, I'll present one. He'll present one, and I was so giddy to present this one to him, and he was like, oh. <gasps> Oh yeah. my God! I love this movie. I was like, I do so too. I haven't seen this in so long, and you know, Don Johnson yeah. is Don Johnson. I love John Don Don John Johnson John Johnson, <laughs> and of course Mickey Rourke on top of that. You know, I mean, it's like, what's not to love? No, there's a lot with to this love. movie. There's yeah. a lot to love. Although so, people people don't hold this in a very high regard. That's I don't, a crazy thing, don't and that's fine that. because. You know, it's it holds a special place in my heart. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this is, I remember watching this movie so many times when I was younger because we had satellite at my house, yeah. if you remember, and it was on like HBO. Or he was Cinemax. the cool kid. Yeah, all the time, all the time. So, we we'll open up the movie. Mickey Rourke is the first character we're introduced to, and that's why I, I was like, "Oh, it's Harley Davidson and Marvel Man," because we don't give it away what it is before we kind of pop yeah. it in, but. As soon as I saw Mickey Rourke, I was like, yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is. And uh, so, Harley Davidson Marlboro Man is about Harley Davidson, played by Mickey Rourke, and the Marlboro Man, played by Don Johnson. And that's that's their names in the movie. They have real yeah. names, but we don't really get their real names. So, Mickey Rourke, in the first basic scene in the movie, he's with this woman. And there's some naked women in yeah, this. That's a... You know? And that's a... There's a titty. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And uh, he, uh, he he leaves this woman and goes on his motorcycle, which is a Harley Davidson, of course, to a gas station. And the gas station is getting robbed. And he just walks in. He, he realizes what's going on as soon as he walks in. He just walks in like nothing's going on. And he just takes out the, the, the robbers, the armed robbers. And he gets this gun, which is a, a, a Desert Eagle. Yeah. You know pistol which is a love it a fantastic yeah. looking gun you don't you don't see them very often but it was a very big gun in the 90s like a very popular gun to see in the 90s in, in these kind of movies so so he gets that gun and he, he gets back on the road and he ultimately meets up with with don johnson's character the marlboro man and uh where do they meet i can't remember exactly where they meet ultimately i think they met back at uh, it was a bar. They were playing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Johnson was playing pool. That's right. He was playing pool with yeah. the, the the Native American guy, who uh, was. It's, oh, he was in uh, uh, I keep wanting to say Wal- Yeah, Renegade. He was in Renegade. I keep wanting to say Renzo Walker, Ramos. Texas yeah. Ranger, he was one but of the main it was Renegade. Renegade. Yeah. So he meets up with him, and they kind of. Oh, Tom Sizemore, not Michael Madsen. Tom Sizemore. Sizemore. Is who, who yeah, 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 yeah. God, I was I confuse those two all the time. Yeah. It's Tom Sizemore. Who uh, passed away? God, we just killed Michael Madsen. Oh my God! Hey, Bill Duke lives Bill Duke on. Duke lives on. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke you might yeah. get or you might not. Get. And and you know, as a joke, I I saw something on the internet and I came into his house. I think it was like right after this yeah, movie, like, yeah, not, too, not long too long ago. ago. I was like, oh man, Jerry West died. <laughs> It's not true. Jerry West is alive. So we killed kicking. we killed Jerry West. We killed Michael Madsen. And Bill Duke. And Bill Duke is still kicking. They're all around. But yeah. Tom Sizemore so, has passed away, and he is yeah. in this movie. I, I was mistaken. I get this confused peace. quite a bit. But 
So they meet up and they're in, he's in a bar and Don Johnson is is playing pool and he's 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 kind of scamming the pool hall in, in regards to beating this guy and so they make a big bet and ultimately this this Native American guy can't pay the bet because he didn't expect to lose he thought yeah. he was going to win and so there's a bar fight that breaks out and and it's it's great it breaks out the old switchblade from yeah. the from oh, the, the butterfly knife <laughs> the butterfly yeah. knife yeah yeah, yeah. so good so they get in a little fight and. Uh, Marvel Man's like, hey, you're just going to stand there? And Harley just kind of lets it play out before he gets involved, which is just just great. It's terrific stuff. And so they get together, and they're going to ride together to go see some old friends at a bar. Gas prices uh, are pretty much the same. Pretty much the same gas prices. Back then? Yeah, yeah in California. A gallon yeah. in California, which is pretty close. Probably huh. a little bit more than that even right now. But so Harley and Marlboro, they end up riding together. Uh, Harley... Harley rides, of course, Harley Davidson, like I said, but Marlboro's got this crappy old Honda bike that just barely runs. So they get they get to this bar they're going to, and it's in Burbank, California, like mm-hmm. huge metropolis in L.A., part of L.A., and, and Harley just pulls out the gun at the bar and just shoots the bike, bu- tries to shoot at the bike, and, and just completely misses the yeah. bike. It just He's a terrible shot, pretty clearly. And... uh Don Johnson, he's like, oh, I, yeah, it's your gun. I got so, you this yeah, for your geez. birthday. Yeah. The free gun he got there from the robbers is what he's giving to him, that Desert Eagle. And so Don Johnson shoots up the bike himself, and they go into the bar. Well, the bar is is a bar in Burbank. It's a tiny little bar in between all these, like, skyscrapers and stuff. And this is kind of like where they grew up, I guess, yeah. you know, together. They were, like, orphans or whatever, or their parents weren't around. And the bar owner is this, this older black gentleman. I, I don't... I don't remember his name, but oh, he's kind of like see, a, you've seen him in a you've lot. Seen him, yeah. yeah, he's an older guy, but he's kind of like their father figure, and uh, he he explains to them that you know the the men from the bank are going to take the bar unless they can come up with this amount of money uh, pretty pretty quickly, or you know he's going to lose the bar, and they're like, well, we can't let that happen. We're also introduced to Giancarlo Esposito. Yeah, as like another one of the kids that grew up in this bar. Yeah, essentially. he's so young. He's he, young John Carlo. Yeah. I mean, this is after Spike Lee, his movie and this Spike. After, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah. yeah. So, but he's still like that same age. Yeah. yeah it's just young. like, oh my gosh. Gus Spring is. Very, he's so yeah. He's yeah. so young. He's in gonna this. go found some chicken restaurants. After yeah, this. yeah. And some meth. So, but he didn't make it out. He didn't make it out of this movie. Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's spoiler. Be spoilers. Yeah. We also meet Vanessa Williams' character, yeah. who is a singer who Harley has a past with, pretty clearly. Mm. And we meet Big John Studd. If you don't know who Big John Studd is, look him up. He's a former wrestler. Oh, man. Big dude. Gigantic dude. Who is Vanessa Williams' husband at this point. And is extremely mad at Harley because Harley had an affair yeah. with his wife. And, you know, he married her now. Some of the best scenes. Yeah. We're in that bar. Oh yeah, you know, just all these guys going back and forth, and they they sold it like they'd known each other for a long time. You know, like, hey, this is our bar. This is, you know, hey, we're all we're a family here. Right. You know, oh, they, the deaf, we also meet the deaf Mexican guy who yeah. talk, you know, is right. sign, signing and stuff. Like he's not long for the movie either. If I recall, yeah. he gets killed pretty early in the movie. So. John, Big John Stud and Harley have a fight. Uh, Harley loses the fight because he's got no chance against Big John Stud. Yeah. But they ultimately make up, and he's like, you know, you got to leave her alone. I married her. Yeah. That's my she's my woman now. And like Vanessa Williams is not too hot on seeing Harley either. So well. you know, but Vanessa Williams, that's she's very tiny. Oh woman. man, she's in it. No, yeah. like I feel like there's some cut scenes with her in this because like they show her, she's a big part of this conversation, then she's just gone for the rest mm. of the movie, pretty much. Big John Stud reappears in the movie. Yeah, she does her little singing role. Yeah, which I mean, yeah, she singing, she obviously. was a big part of you know. She had that career going on, right? And right. then yeah, she had like two two scenes. Yeah, and after that, she so. did much more in a racer. Yeah, you got to watch that sometime. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Stay tuned. Yeah, there's also a sequel to it as well for uh-huh. some reason in the last year. Oh boy! In any case. They decide that the best way to make the money to save this bar is to rob a armored truck that this bank that's trying to take the bar is running. So they put together this whole thing, and, and Big John says, "Like, no, I can't, I can't be part of this." But everybody else comes in to be part of it, 
and they go to rob this this truck and they they do a pretty good job of it they Mm -hmm. you know have a fake construction crew Giancarlo Esposito makes them turn and they rob the truck ultimately and the two the two guys in the in the in the armored truck are like you have no idea what you're doing here you do you know who you're robbing and then they're like yeah we don't we don't really care yeah and so we're introduced as as they're robbing this truck and getting the stuff out of the back of it we're introduced to the crew that protects these trucks with daniel daniel baldwin is one of them he's like the main like antagonist of this movie really yeah. ultimately behind tom sizemore so they have a big gunfight, firefight with these guys. Big John Stud only ends up having to come in and save and them. They're all dressed like, you know, Terminators. Yeah, Matrix. they are. They're wearing like full, it, it, like, I think black it was, like, suits black, and bulletproof. Yeah, black, yeah. 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 So, bulletproof. They managed to it was almost like out. It was almost like the Matrix, you yeah. know, type. type. Yeah, but we get the, dress. We get the scene where, where Harley throws a gun at somebody and he brings up one of my favorite lines in all the movies. It's like, Guns are meant to be shot, uh, Harley, not thrown. Yeah, that's what yeah. man says. Yes. So they take, they manage to beat off these, beat off. Sorry. <laughs> they manage to beat oh, these. No. Uh, Enlighten us on that. That's a different that. movie. That's a different movie. Sorry. <laughs> we might review that tonight. Yeah. So they manage to beat, beat the guys that are coming to try to stop them because Big John Stud comes, kind of comes in and saves the day by like laying down his bike and setting it on fire and making an explosion for them to get their getaway. They get away and they go off to a plane graveyard, which is a cool place to have have a movie scene. Yeah, it's a very oh, yeah. cool place. And they open up the bags to discover that they didn't get money; they got meth. Essentially, is what it is. They, yeah. I don't know what they refer to it as meth. Like, uh, I think they say it's crystal meth, which is like the name back then for what it was, you know. Yeah. But it's in these little blue blocks, and that's all there is. So they kind of figure out that this bank is running drugs in addition to being a bank. So they work out a way to make a deal with the bank head to, to give this drug back to him in exchange for the money but that guy that doesn't go through and they end up attacking the the same black trench coat guys come back attack the bar they kill the old man they kill Giancarlo Esposito and uh, Harley and Marvel manage to make it out uh, Big John Stud does he make it out then or does he get yeah, killed he, no he makes it out he makes it out then yeah. he dies later yeah but they manage to make it out and get away and then they they are trying to to deal with the fallout from this i mean there's no reason to save the the bank anymore and like there's this this scene where they ask for this amount of money and they want one extra dollar because they made a bet that it yeah. goes down and then they give them a silver dollar and ends up the silver dollar has a tracker in it and that's how they found out where the money right went and how they attacked yeah it. so there was an exchange between the drugs and the money yeah it was, it was it was pretty well done how yeah how they you know set that in motion yeah yeah it's like why the extra dollar it's just it, <laughs> it, it's not i mean it is a fun dumb you know buddy oh it's super you know dumb. buddy you know shoot him up movie but hey we got a comment on oh. something uh, so I bet you never heard of the movie Arctic Dogs. It's box office from November. Nope, I can't say I've heard of that movie or seen uh, that movie, but thanks for watching. Renner, Clinton. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised I haven't seen Houston, it. Justin Franco. Yeah. Class and Baldwin. All right. Alec Baldwin. Alec. <laughs> watch right. out on set with guns for him, right? Yeah, yeah. Got to wait for that one to yeah. come out. Hey, maybe we'll check it out. Definitely, yeah. uh, definitely uh, Absolutely. You know, follow us. Ultimate Sonic Fan 2023. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever uh, thanks had for you that. before. Yeah, we're... Uh, we might have tried. We that always one. look. I like John. I like everybody yeah. involved except maybe James Franco. I'm not a big fan of Franco. I'll be honest. His but you know what? Okay. Hey, you know, we'll try anything. Yeah, we'll try anything. Yeah, maybe so, maybe next week we'll review that one. Yeah, we also have a subplot of uh, Harley Davidson meeting with uh, our Don Johnson has an ex wife essentially that he's oh, still yeah, in love yeah, with, yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. clearly still in love with him. That's how he gets his new motorcycle in the middle yeah. of all this. Hey, thanks for following. We appreciate it. We'll, All right, we'll definitely man. check out that movie. I'm not yeah. lying. We, you know, keep an eye out on us. We're gonna check out that movie. You know what? Friday night seems like Arctic Dogs. We already got one picked out. Yeah, it made yeah. almost 10 million out of a 50 million dollar budget. I like it. Yeah, cast was great, but yeah. So uh, Harley and Marlboro meet meet this this woman, and and she <laughs> Marlboro ends up stealing her husband's bike. Cause she, cause uh, you know, he just wants to get her back. She's clearly still in love with him. He's in love with her. Oh, yeah. He's more like a road dog. You know, he has to be out on the road. He's not gonna, he's not gonna hang out and all that. So 
But anyway, that's that's kind of a side plot. It doesn't really ultimately even affect the rest of the story. It's just one of those no. things they did in 90s movies. You have a sex scene at some point, probably. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. Gotta miss the 90s. Yeah, the 90s. Well, <laughs> then again, I watched some of the 90s movies. Yeah, they're like, pretty bad. I don't miss the 90s all that much. <laughs> I miss the 80s from what I remember. The latter half of the 80s and the 90s. Nice. Is this an animated film, Ultimate Sonic fan? That's what it seems to be. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be an animated film. I haven't seen it, though. All right, I'm down. But thanks for the info. I like it. So, ultimately, they kill off all the people they love. So, Harley and Marlboro are going to get uh, oh, animated. Yep, thought so. They're going to get some revenge right. on these guys and take them out. And, oh, yeah, there's the duct tape boot. I forget. Ah, uh, there it is. Marble doesn't spend money on anything. Yeah. That's why he had a crappy bike, crappy boots. He's duct taping his boots. Yeah. It's, it's all. Because I was know. like, this guy reminds me of my brother. Yeah. Because he used to duct tape his duct-tape shoes. Duct tape his shoes. Yeah. That's he's, right. He was so cheap, he'd get a hole in it, his sneakers or tennis shoes. Tennis I don't shoes, know. Yeah. What do we call them now? I call them <laughs> But, yeah, he would he would actually duct tape his, his shoes so he could make them last longer yeah so yeah hey i remember that from this i was buying a new shoe to be honest one shoe though only one i only buy one at a time (laughs) oh man (laughs) so they decide they have to put it into this after all their friends are killed essentially and we get the final scene in the airplane graveyard yet again which is it's great they set they set them up to come find them because they leave that coin there because they they at that point have figured out that the coin is kind of like the tracking device of it and uh, so they, 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 they get them to come out there. Uh, Daniel Baldwin's character, the, the main bad guy, really, yeah. other than Tom Sizemore. Get him to come out there to have a shootout. Don Johnson sits there, puts a big chew in his oh, lap. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's great. You never see anybody <laughs> chewing in movies. No, not it's anymore. Weird. You never yeah. see that in movies. And he put he pulls out the Kodiak or Grizzly or whatever he has, yeah. puts a big chew in for the shootout. I think that was a real one too. Yeah, he yeah. probably did. I can see Don Johnson being a dipper. Yep. So, because yeah. you know he's he's kind of a badass. Hey. I love Don Johnson. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Don Johnson is great. Yeah. I mean, he I've always done, loved him. You know, you know, Eastbound and Down, Miami Vice, man. Miami Vice, this movie. This movie, <laughs> Nash Bridges, which I've Nash. never watched a single no, episode. No, I've, I've never, yeah. I haven't either. Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll watch Nash Bridges. Yeah, that's a lot of watching a movie, man. He watched something thirty-four times. That's a lot of watching a movie. I don't know. If I've seen any movie thirty-four times. Oh. Yeah. So when you check out that movie, though. Yeah, I have animated. Have to. So they yep. do. They do Friday win night. the shootout, of course. And they, they take out the bad guys in there, and ultimately they go back to the bank to to deal with Tom Sizemore's character. And they go right up to see him, and they, they pretty much just take him out and knock him out the window. We yeah. get the little Die Hard type thing where he falls out, yeah. the, out the skyscraper. A little, little Die Hard, a little, yeah. uh, not as bad as RoboCop. No. No, it was more Die Hard, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely. Because it, it was more like this. And yeah. there's a... Arnold Schwarzenegger's body double. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, whatever his name is, Sven Svensson or something like that. Yeah, Tia Carrer as the uh, bad guy's secretary as well. Yeah, uh, I mean this movie is just full of gems. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, so much fun. It's absolutely full of gems. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yep, Nine is a well-known movie for sure. Elijah Wood plays the main character in Nine. Oh I remember yeah, that movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. So that's kind of the end. They take them out, and they end up just kind of going on their way, doing what they're doing again. We never get a sequel. Never get anything else in this movie. But, man, this is a fun movie. It's so fun. Yeah. I love it. It is a ton of fun. Great movie. Just If, if you want to just dive into a brainless, oh, fun man, this is sure. movie, this is one. Like, if you want action, you know, some good comedy. There's a lot of good comedy throughout yep. this. Check this movie out. Check it out for sure. Other than that, I, I don't know what else I can say about There's it. There's not much else to say about yeah. this. It's a, it's a standard early 90s action yeah. film. It has a lot of 80s left along. Yeah, hey, check out this movie. <laughs> Have you ever seen this one? You may be younger, though. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you, watch, you watch this on Friday, and we'll watch your movie on Friday. <laughs> That's right. Ah. Uh, yeah, get some time size more in your life. And so then we'll then we'll we'll get on a uh, podcast together and we'll we'll talk about. It. That's right. 
So that's the end of this one. It's a great movie. I really enjoy it. Oh yeah. I, I, I can't remember what I rated. I, I do ratings in Letterbox. If anybody has Letterbox, you can follow me on Letterbox. Out of, out of five, it's probably a six. A seven point eight. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking in my Letterbox just to see what I rated this. I'm sure it wasn't a super high rating because it's not like, you know, Oscar worthy or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to look it up. That's what I thought I rated it. No, it's probably one of those movies that. No, probably got like a six, six out of ten back in the day. Seven out of ten at the highest. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's probably about right where I am at a three yeah. and a half. Is three what and a half. Did. Yeah, I think so. It's a fun movie. Yeah, it's fun. Three and a half. I'm I'm good at three and a half as yeah. well. It's not going to win any awards, but man, is it a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of nostalgia for us as well. I think I don't think that helps. Uh, to make us like it any less, we're definitely in on the nostalgia train. Yeah, we're so. we're we're children of the '90s. Yeah, so both born in the early '80s, yeah, right yeah. at the age of this movie. So this is yeah prime time for us. Yeah. So prime '90s movie. Loved it. All right, so three and a half, three and a half. That's it for uh, Harley Davidson Marlboro Man. We're